Hey, what's up everybody? It's Edgar DJ Axis back once more with another My DMX 2.0 video tutorial. This time we're going to finally cover our moving head scene builder. I'll go over um, just a couple scenes that I've created using the scene builder. Uh, giving you different scenarios. Here's one with some stage washing, some scanning, uh, rotating gobos and whatnot. Here's a red one with white. Also have uh, for certain scenarios, say we're doing a wedding and uh, we're calling the single ladies onto the dance floor for the bouquet toss. Uh, I've created one uh, called Searchlight, so it'll scan the room. You know, you can be on a microphone and hyping up the girls to come up up to the stage, and your movers can be scanning around. Uh, you know, just looking for the single ladies to come up to the dance floor. So that just you know adds extra effect to your event and uh, just makes it that much more special to your client and uh, and you can actually get more business out of it. So let's dive in on how you can create these scenes using the scene builder inside my DMX 2.0. Like usual, we'll go over to our editor and create a new scene. Uh, we'll rename it later, depending on what we're gonna do with it, and then we'll go up here our scene builder. We want to go ahead over here on the side, uh, select uh, in this case our Platinum Spots 5Rs. What we want to do, I know our values already, so I want to higher the intensity of the bulb all the way. And then we want the shutter on. And that will turn them on, as you can see over there. So now we have them on a spot mode. Uh, let's start off with the spot and then what we want to do once we have them on and uh, we want to go over to our effects section and click on effects we're going to be working with precision effects and right now uh, we have a couple of presets here that they've included uh, being a circle a polygon a line and a random area so let's work with a circular motion uh, to recreate uh, a scanning, you know, room type of effect. Uh, right here are these circles right here. Oh, this is circles and then there's points on here. You can add points. Right now it's at four points here. This is your starting point uh, and either, I don't know if it starts from left to right or right to left. Whichever point, uh, you can see it on your heads. Uh, right here are the number of points if you need to add more. You can do so and then you can go ahead and manipulate the movement. But right now let's just do a circular motion. And this graph will cover as you can see. It's getting around in a circular motion. Now the motion is doing, uh, I believe it was more or less meant for hanging your heads upside down. Because it's really just covering the top part. But uh, the cool part is that you can go ahead and change that to select the different coverage area. If you go back here to our graph, you can make this, uh, you can drag this, click and drag, and uh, just check the movement of your heads and just kind of to cover an area. So now if I moved it to this corner, you can see if we move over to uh, our heads, it'll start, the starting point will still be up, but right now it'll pan down. And I'll ha I have it right now in a slow motion. Uh, setting, I'll teach you how to change that right now to your liking to make it a little bit faster. But as you can see now, it's panning a little bit lower. So you can just go ahead and right here manipulate it all around. You could even make the circle bigger. If you click on the points, make it bigger so it'll cover a wider area of your dance floor. So there you can see it's covering a much wider area and it's covering more. So now they're both, their heads are addressed individually, but they're both doing the same effect. Uh, if you don't want them to be doing that, there is an option down here called phasing. If you're not familiar with phasing, basically uh, what it does is it adds a delay to uh, your fixtures. So in this case, they're both doing the same, even though they're addressed differently, but they're both doing the same movement at the same time. So if we add phasing, we'll go ahead and just add it all the way up. And then if we pan back to our lights, you can see that one, they're still following the same rotation, but one has, an, uh, one has a delay on it. 
So now we can use that uh, and we can label that. And that's how I created my search light scene uh, for when I call, you know, the single ladies to the dance floor. So that's how you do that one right there. Now, let's say, for instance, you want to make a scene over for, uh, say, the dancing party e evening and you want to add more features to it. Maybe you want to add some wash, some wash uh, light to your dance floor or you don't want a white spot on your moving hands. That's easy. All you do is go back to your presets here. Uh, you select the motion that you have. Say, we'll leave it at that. You like the motion that your hands are moving to. Uh, we leave it there and then let's go back to our platinum spots and say for instance you want maybe some red spots so that as you can see it'll change the color and now we have some red spots moving you know scanning your room uh, but say you're not happy with them and say maybe you want to add some gobos some more effects to it that's totally easy once you click on the tab here it gives you all the values to your heads uh, to your fixtures, whatever fixture you're using, movers or scanners and whatnot, you know. So if I want to go ahead, I'll go back to white. If I want to add a gobo, I can go ahead and add a gobo to it. And um, you can't really see the gobo on camera because just the intensity of the light, you know, the brightness of it. But there are some gobos being projected right now. You can do ro rotating gobos or whatever your fixture is capable of doing. So uh, let's just pick a gobo. Uh, let's see a fixed one. We'll use a star one. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but they're not focused right now. Now, if your fixture provides, you know, focus uh, a focus channel, you can go ahead and focus that. I'll go ahead and do that now. And try to see if I can focus them. There. So now they're kind of focused on there. Again, I don't know if that's going to come out on camera. So I, I put a star gobo on there. So now the movement is great. The gobos are great. You know, you have it where you want it at. But what about, you know, your wash light? What about if you want to add that extra effects to your dance floor? That's simple. You just go over and look for your whatever fixture you're using for lighting up your dance floor, say you're using PARS or say you're using a, a, a wash fixture. In this case, we use Elation uh, Tri-LED Bricks. Great fixture for washing. You know, it's ultra bright. It covers a wide area and uh, uh, I love these fixtures. So basically, we'll find it here and we'll turn them on. Now, quick uh, note, and let's select maybe a red. Quick note, um, there is a bug. Uh, because we have our fixture set in the 15 channel mode because I need uh, access to each bank I need a lot of control over these bricks so I have it set to a 15 channel mode and what happens in the effects generator it only lights up one bank as you can see here I'll pan over it's only lighting up one of the four banks so that's a known issue inside uh, the generator and I've contacted the team over at American DJ and it's something that they're working on. So for now, you know, it, it'll only light up one bank, but I will tell you um, another way you can do it. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll leave it at red. For instance, so now we have, you know, some stars scanning the room and a red wash. Uh, again, like I said, it's a bug with my DMX. Not all of uh, your lights will light up in a 15 channel mode. I believe if you have it maybe in a 3, a 7 uh, channel mode, it, it will light up all the max. Uh, but since I have it in a 15, it won't. So, but I'll show you the fix on doing it. So, you have your wash color, your wash color, I'm sorry, and then you have the movement and the gobos to your liking. All you have to do is go back to your effects here and click generate now before we generate this if we go back over to our moving heads here and I like the movement of the heads at this speed but if you need them to go any slower or if you want them to go any faster you do have that option and uh, where you do that you find it over here under effects and it'll say duration so right now I have it at 20 and 
I believe these are this right here seconds minutes and hours uh, might be wrong but that's the way I see it so I have it at 20 and that's what's giving me that uh, rotation if I want the rotation to go any slower than that uh, for smoother or if I needed to go more extreme and create faster movements on that um, rotation there circular motion all I do is add time or deduct time here and let's go for a faster look so we'll deduct time the more you deduct the faster the uh, your fixtures will move so let's go bring it down to five and if we pan back you can see now the movers are moving faster so this again is going to be left uh, to the user depending on what kind of scene you're creating so I want a more of a slower smoother um, rotation on our movers so I'll leave it at 20 and it's just a nice smooth panning scanning uh, look to them and that's how I like it so now once you have everything set up and everything the way you like it that's when you go over to generate you go ahead and generate the effect and that's it and done close your generator and as you can see it'll I don't know why it does this as well this is something else that they're working on but it'll create a new scene and you can see all the steps here that this uh, scene builder created for you so now we can go ahead and rename it so in this case we were using red wash and star movers We'll click there now. If we go to live, here's uh, here's what's gonna happen. Your movers will do what you created in it, uh, but somehow the the wash of it doesn't go over. And like I said, and it doesn't apply to all the banks. And uh, like I mentioned, it's something that the team is working on. But I have found a way to quickly, you know, uh, edit that. And I'll show you here. Just go back to your editor. You click here over to where all your steps are at and you select all. So on a Mac, you hit Command A and it'll select all of them. So now what you want to do is just find your wash fixtures down here on the sliders. And these are bricks. And I know that I to select all of them, you click on it and hold Shift and that'll be the intensity. So now since I have it in 15 channel mode, uh, I want them in red. I'll click, hold shift, and turn on the red channel for one bank. Sorry about that. Let's do that. Well, click, red, second bank. Click, shift, hold, third bank, fourth. Now, the shift holding is so it could be applied to all your fixtures that corresponds. Uh, all the same fixtures instead of going to each one and moving you know each individual channel so now as you can see we have the red wash going on and the lights aren't moving yet because we just edited that so once we go live it'll apply it so now we'll have a red wash and we'll still have that circular motion that we created in the scene builder with the stars so when you do that, just make sure you, uh, you're you on the correct scene and you select all your steps. That way it applies that wash to all the steps to it. And that is how you build a moving uh, a movers scene with stage wash. Of course, you can change the color of it to your liking, the gobos, and that's all user selectable to your liking. But this is how you, know, you create a red wash with a uh, moving stars scanning your room again this is edgar dj axis with the my dmx tutorials if you guys have any questions please go ahead and ask i will do my best to go ahead and answer them for you and if i can i will do my best to find an answer for you uh, i will be creating one more video uh, as of right now that people have been asking for and that is how to create a light show with music now currently my dmx doesn't have that options 
uh, that option, but uh, you can do it, and uh, that's how we'll be covering on our next video. And that'll include, you know, movers, our wash lights, our other lights, and using MIDI control. And I'll teach you how to do that. But until then, thanks for watching. Until next time.